Hello Photoshop students, today we're going to make an interlocking logo. We're going to make this logo and first thing we're going to do is to create a new file. We're going to unlock the backgrounds and I'm going to change the color of the backgrounds. I'm going to use this color FBC3B8. We're going to type in our letters. I'm going to change the color to FCF3C4. And I'm going to change the font to Times New Roman. Click on enter and we're going to do control J to copy the layer. I'm going to select it and we're going to do control T to move the second layer. Now we'll change this to S. I'm going to change the color of our second letter and I'm going to use F 96 to a zero. I'm going to click on OK. Now we're going to rasterize our two types. I'm going to select both of them by doing Control and select them with the mouse and rasterize type. Now we're going to move them in the middle. I'll take the T, do Control T to move it and place it nicely in the middle. I will enlarge it by holding shift. And I'll place it in the middle again. I'm going to select S, we'll control T and we're going to move it inside. And we're going to place it vertically in the middle. Now here we're going to interlock and here we're going to interlock. So to do this we're going to create a layer mask for both of the types. Uh, create a layer mask we can do here. Create layer mask. And so now we're going to remove this pink here and here. This one will leave like it is. So for that I'm going to select the T layer and to do this I'm going to hold control and click on this layer and then it's selected. And now we're going to click on the layer mask of S. We're going to take our brush tool We're going to take our brush tool, we're going to set foreground color to black, and now we can move it. Now we can remove it. We're going to do Control D to deselect the T, and now we're going to place a rectangle. We're going to use the rectangle tool. We're going to find a place which is almost in the middle. I'm going to click on it with the left mouse, with the left mouse button, and I'm going to hold Alt so it will stay in the middle. And we're going to draw our rectangle like that. We're not going to fill it, what we're going to use is stroke, and stroke will be 40 pixels. The color will be F A ninety two A C. I'll click on OK. Now we're going to add a border, and our logo is finished. To do this, we're going to 
blending options drop shadow and here we're going to put the opacity to 35 percent angle 120 degrees distance 20 pixels and size 20 pixels I'm going to click on OK and now our logo is finished if you want to use this logo on another background we can save it as a PSD file so we can anytime unselect this layer and we have a transparent background 